Hey, what's going on to all her friends and my friends, because we're close like that. It's all about the youth generation. And yeah. Hello, I'm Melissa Hernandez, and welcome to In Your Life. Today I'm in LA with the star of the new movie, Faster, Mr. Dwayne Johnson. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. ¿Cómo está todo? En español, nada. Un bit, un poquito. Un poquito. Yeah. Un poquito. Yeah. I have to try that. Don't worry, we're going to do this in English. <laughs> <laughs> Your character in this movie is mm -hmm. Driver. <laughs> He's kind of a suitably menacing, you know, human terminator. Tell me about this character. It was a character I had a lot of fun playing. Getting back into the action genre was fun. I love to be physical, I'm a physical guy, visceral guy. I love kicking ass. I love it. A character like this was uh, was a lot of fun to play, but it was also very special too. Just special in terms of the action in the movie isn't. It's not big explosions in terms of. CGI effects or wire work or anything like that. It is straight up raw, uh, hardcore action in terms of you took something from me. And it's something that I loved. You took my family, the only family I had. And now uh, I'm going to find you and you're going to pay. And you're going to pay with my hands and you're going to pay with your life. So what do we got? We got our shooter. It's not just fear, that's recognition. He knew him. Turns out some gang ambushed them and killed his brother. So it is a revengeful movie. Mm -hmm. Is that the theme throughout the whole movie? Is the, what, mm -hmm. No? That's a good question. The theme throughout the movie, well, it starts off as a revenge movie, but then throughout, what's interesting is, and this is a credit to the writers, this is why it was so well written, which is why I wanted to do it, is that throughout, the men who were responsible for killing my brother and who tried to kill me, uh, 10 years later, um, are different men. Uh, some have become better men. Some, for example, one becomes a preacher who has um, impacted the lives of thousands of kids. One is a pedophile, one is a husband, one is a father. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I have to deal with. Like if I take this man's life, um, I orphan his children. And, and no longer will his wife have a husband anymore. So you gotta deal with that all throughout. But still at the same time, this guy, this man has a steel resolve, still struggling with, wait a minute, I'm not gonna leave it up to God. You took something from me, bottom line, and, I, and that drives me and motivates me. So um, it is a revenge drama, revenge thriller, but yet there's great emotion all throughout. You're taking justice into your own hands. Into these hands. Nice. <laughs> as far as the action's concerned, how mm -hmm. much of it did you perform, or were there stunt doubles in there? Uh, I've got a great stunt double, by the way, whose family, who's my cousin, who is an amazing guy, amazing stunt double. But with a movie like this, it was with the amount of prep that I put into this, uh, I, I wanted to do everything my own, including all the stunt driving. Uh, didn't want to use a stunt driver. Didn't I, He was standing by, my stunt double, but all the action was done by me. Because, by the way, I want to do that for the audience, too. That's important. Um, money is not falling out of the sky. And if you're going to pay money to come see me in this movie, in this role, you're going to know it's me. That's, That's important. That's kind of cool. That's important. Now, if it got really dangerous. Then you're out of there. Then I'm out. <laughs> Now, you're a very charismatic guy, and we're used to seeing you in very charismatic roles. Mm -hmm. Which do you prefer, the charismatic roles or the just, you know, kicking ass kind of role? i got to be honest with you, I prefer them all. And I think, you know, I can, I, I prefer them all because the goal is always to entertain, and the goal is always to entertain in all different genres, whether it's in comedy, action comedy, action, family adventure, family comedy, whatever it is. Uh, I want to entertain, and I want to deliver, and I want to make it good. Um, whether they do uh, hundreds of millions of dollars or they don't, uh, I still just want to put out a good product and entertain. Now you also work with Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. How is working with him? I love that man. He's a really, really cool, interesting guy. Intriguing. Not too crazy. No, you know that. You know he, he he he's passionate about his music. He's passionate about his writing. He's passionate about his directing, and when he locks into a character in terms of his acting, like in Faster, he locks in, and he owns it, and he embraced it. He's a great storyteller, and, uh, you know, we have a lot in common, and I've, en I've enjoyed my time with him. He's got a great band called the Box Masters, which I love the name, uh, and, uh, you know, great guy. I loved it, and his performance in this movie is dynamite. You, um, you're an alumni yeah, from sure. there. We're big fans of the UM, so I figured being from Miami, you know. Uh oh, come on. Coming from big fans, I had to get you a gift. Oh, so wait, I have to go for a small pass. Let's okay. see if you remember these days. Let's Got go. It. Wow. All right. I catch <laughs> all your like passes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. It's a good one.
a good one, right? <laughs> there you go. Because oh, at the end of the much. day, it's all about the you, right? It's always all about the you. At the end of the oh, day. you had to throw it up. I oh, love thank it. Thank you so much for this. No, I at really all. appreciate that. I mean, thank you. Cuban households, we love giving gifts. It happens. The Cuban girl, I was married to a Cuban girl. Oh, there you go. I love it. It's my Cuban family. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We wish you nothing but the best. Anything thank you. coming up besides Faster? Yeah, absolutely. We've been working on getting ready to wrap a movie we're really excited about, uh, Fast and Furious. It, it will, in all likelihood, be the final installment. But I, we were, Universal approached me. I thought it was a cool idea to create an adversary for Vin Diesel. I've known Vin for some time. We've always talked about working together. And if we were going to work together, it was important to me that, that uh, uh, we were gonna, I was going to hunt him down. And we were going to go at it. That was important. So we have had a blast on this movie. And... Uh, I can't wait for it to come out. Well, thank you so much. Can't wait to see the movie faster. And if you could say hello to my friends at Generation Enye. Generation Enye. Enye. Generation Enye. I hope you enjoy faster. I want to talk to you today about forgiveness. The road to revenge is a dead end street. Down that 45, that 38, put it down, brother, forgive me, and it will set you free.